Hey guys, I'm back with a new build, this time the Foodog. I've not seen anyone else do a Foodog build, so uh, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But I'm uh, I'm pretty happy about it, honestly. Uh, it, it was really fun to run. It was very fun to run. It's, for those who don't know, Foodog is a pet, which it's a tier 3, and on Bayek it's plus 2, plus 4, plus 6 permanent health to uh, future shop pets, pets of the next tier. This also means if it's bought turn 11 or later, it's going to boost uh, tier 6s still, which could potentially mean some pretty cool late game scaling, which is what I'm going for. And I'll, I'll take any excuse to use catfish as well. I'm, I may be the one catfish enjoyer out there. Everyone says it's bait, it's not a great pet, I love, I love catfish. Um, and if we ever do a pet tier list, my catfish pla placement by it might be a little high compared to what other people would say. But yeah, here's the bill. I guess I'll talk about what I've got. Uh, the plan is pretty much to go to tempo with effectively no scaling um, up until the end, where hopefully my catfish will let me pivot onto 50, uh, 50 health tier 6s which uh, we'll get more into later how I'm gonna work with those a little bit. But yeah, I've got a Cuddle Toad here, which Cuddle Toad is really good tempo, honestly. Um, it's consistent tempo, but especially, I, I never grab the Magic Wand or the Crystal Ball. I always grab the, the Witch's Broom, which gives weakness. But, and, and here you can see, I just got uh, a deer and a tiger bug, which I believe are the two best tempo pets in the game. Certainly the best tier fours. Uh, maybe not certainly. If, if you disagree with me, tell me in the comments. Yeah, we just got both of those, which is how you know this is a run that I'm I can, <laughs> I'm showing off, that I think is worth showing off. Uh, there are two runs in this video, uh, and I think they're both worth watching. I, uh, the second one, I get the food dog a lot earlier, and you'll get to see it actually really helps with the tempo, uh, which is not something I was expecting. But, I mean, look at this. Between the hoopo bird, the deer, and the tiger bug, I am really demolishing these other teams. I mean, I'm, I'm on six wins and crucially five health. This build really ends up being a lose three or four rounds in a row pivot which tells you just how high quality it is uh it's a very very strong strategy no but um and we win by one here which is nice the the tempo here between really these four pets the deer the tiger bug the hoopo bird and the flea plus i've still got the witch's broom all of these are uh contributing to a pretty high quality pivot here where I, I will have a lot of time to kill to get what I'm going after. And, and that's uh, all. And I guess I should say uh, a theme we'll be exploring in this episode is what Rev mentioned in to, to this date, his most recent video, which was his first scripted video. You should go check that out. Uh, you still cook if it's bad. If it's a bad build, but it's unique and creative, you still cook. And he has a very great uh, video about this with a lot of citing his sources. A lot of, well, his, his source, his one source, which was Webster's Dictionary. But uh, there's also some allegations made in that, which I find completely hilariously insane. I mean, no one... I am beginning to suspect that Lebun has hacked my computer or set up cameras inside of my house. I wave at him in the mirror while I'm in the shower. But that's beyond the point. Point is, we're on 8 and 5 and we are <laughs> gonna really have to work to eke out these last two wins. But you can see that Cobra there already has 20 health. And we're gonna continue to get more health on our tier 6s while... Our tempo pets, you see again, we're, we're not going to break through this. People's builds are coming together, and we're actually, we're not even facing, like, bad teams here. We've pretty much always been winning. So, these are going to become great teams. Look at that. That is an 826 line fish, which we are going to grab. 
And that is a 1026 Piranha, which we're also grabbing. Yeah. Um, a summon team is a great match for a Piranha, usually, but... <laughs> hilariously, it actually doesn't have enough health. Health. However, we still managed to draw here just barely against Lioness, which... Uh, if you're going for cool shop scaling, I'd recommend Chicken or Lioness, and really <laughs> not Food Hog, as... As fun as it is, and I don't, this is again, not me saying Fudog is a bad unit by any stretch. It is, I honestly think it's a very good unit and a nice have in any pack. It is a very bad formation for a build, in my opinion. Look at that. Um, that is a 40 health Warthog, and I th now we're going to sell, and there's the real kicker here is we are looking for lollipops. Lollipops are going to allow us to swap this health for attack, and then if we buy another healthy pet onto one of these attack pets, boom, 50-50s. That's how we're gonna do this. I mean, you could be weird with it and use hyena. Originally, this was gonna be a hyena build. What I found is hyena builds are usually not worth the grind, as cool as they are, but look at all this health that's coming out in this Cobra ended up like actually doing some damage by the end. And our lionfish is up to 32 attack. 34. 35. So we got quite lucky with that uh, Kappa there with what we got, but we ended up losing due to that. I think it was a level 2 Niala that got all those trumpets. So we're on one health, eight wins now. And unfortunately, we don't find another Lollipop or another Warthog. So here we're going to go in against another Kappa team. Seeing a lot of Kappa late game, which is good. Kappa's a really cool unit, and I plan on doing some Kappa stuff soon. Probably some really bad Kappa, Kappa stuff, so it might take a second for you to, like, see the video come out. Great Anteater hit for this Cobra. And then the Crisp on the Piranha gives us yet another Hurt Trigger. And unfortunately, we draw there, we don't win. I it was it must have been pretty close, but there we go, another lollipop. We don't end up grabbing that other lollipop, and we've got a, effectively a 50/50 lionfish, and uh, more stuff coming soon, which is pretty exciting. And here we're gonna go against a jump team, a pretty much maxed out jump team. So we'll see how we fare. Uh, unfortunately, that melon didn't do anything there. The lionfish takes out a lot, but not enough. So we're going to lose that one, and that'll get us into game two. And we're in game two. And we've got more cuddle toads, so you know it's going to be a good start. I, if nothing else, I want this video to be a cuddle toad appreciation post, because, oh my god, I love this unit. It's First of all, it's a happy little toad meant for cuddling. That's fantastic. Second of all... It's just a really cool ability. I, I love that its level ups mean that the toy sticks around for longer. It's really handy. Uh, it, it's just a small little thing. Most of the time when you have a sell pet, you have to, you know, find the perfect time to sell it. Like duck, you know, you want to sell it when you have a lot of stuff you want to use. Or like in, in the shop, I mean. Duckling, you want the perfect unit as the leftmost shop pet. Uh, macaque. Or not Macaque, Marmoset. I always mess those two up. Marmoset, not as much. And that's the pivot ones. But Cuddle Toad, it doesn't matter. You get your toy. And your toy's going to stick around. And your toy's going to be great. So here, I think I'm going to pill this Beta Fish onto the Food Dog. Yeah, because we know we're keeping that unit around. And honestly, it has pretty great starting stats, I, I think. It's like a 3-5, I think? I think so, yeah, which is really good for a tier 3, honestly. Uh, I guess buy and sell pets tend to have pretty decent uh, stats to make up for the fact that they're mostly pets that you just use with a free slot. And here we get to see the joy of how this is going to work with uh, actually having a food dog the whole run. And and here's where you're going to see Foodog really is a great unit. I, I think it is... If you have an extra slot and you just want some extra help, grab Foodog. We have gotten 
so many we got like what two level one triggers and two level two triggers for the food og so that's plus eight plus four that's like plus 12 health on tier fours permanently i believe it it, it might even be more like you know what I can't think of it i'm pretty sure it's plus 14 and look at that we got a cockatoo with 416 i don't know why i buy this waffle here that's pretty much a mistake I was just excited to see the cockatoo. A 115 deer, a 418 tiger beetle, or tiger tiger bug. In my tiger bug video, I, I, oh, and we're gonna do this great strategy where we combine them in the shop. Um, that's a pretty secret technique Team Wood doesn't want you to know about. But it's uh, completely busted, completely overpowered, but only I know how to do it. <laughs> anyway, I mean, that 115 almost traded with their back unit solo very very amusing and now i'm gonna see, i've got a 225 uh manatee with potato which means it's gonna run for seven turns before it runs out of health from its own self damage very if nothing else this is an amusing build and I, i'm glad we sniped their chimera and the K kitsune swapped it because i'm not sure how we would have fared Otherwise, look at all this food dog we're getting, and already um, tier sixes have plus 12 health the next time they show up, and I have a catfish. This took a lot of attempts because I wanted to. I needed to high roll food dogs. I needed to stay alive because the pivot's not that fantastic, and I had to get the catfish on level ups. I had to get a catfish fast because I really want a level two catfish in order to make this pop and uh, in this case we did get that we've got a 728 gorilla saved and I believe next turn tier sixes will have an extra 12 health again and we're at that point in the run where uh, the trades are unfavorable again our tempo is wearing off even with the help of the health and we're only on six wins which is pretty scary and I mean <laughs> it's not that scary we just pulled in a 729 gorilla that's gonna get some stats uh, 636 saber tooth and 834 lionfish saved now one thing about food dog is it's future uh, shop pets not current shop pets so that lionfish won't get buffed which is a bit unfortunate and we're gonna lose this one as well, so now we're on the six and two. Not really a position I want to be in, but I've got so much. I buy that waffle. I'm pretty sure everything would be at 50 health already, even without that waffle. But regardless, we get it. And 50 attack, or sorry, 50 health warthog with a lollipop. That's suddenly gonna be really useful. And we're going against Le uh, Leviathan here, which is my least favorite new unit because I find it has effectively no synergy, which makes it very boring to me. I, I don't think it's even like necessarily overpowered, I just find it disinteresting. And here we are, 50-50 Warthog. I know this isn't a build you should go for. Yes, it took me way too many attempts. It was kind of fun to do and kind of cool to pull off. And we actually win against this Abomination Parrot team. You, If you're playing customs, you've probably seen a lot of these. There's some... I, I think the Parrot copies the abilities that the Abomination has at level... Uh, heck. At level 2? Or no, at, at level 3, if the Parrot's level 3. It's a very easy thing, I'm just buffering again. But we pull in a German Shepherd here that I'm hoping to lollipop for our Sabertooth. Uh, we're on nine wins. Pretty darn cool team. We've got a ability to get a level two Lionfish. The big problem here is lollipops. We just aren't finding them and we need them. We, we really need them. I'm wondering if my order here could have been better. It's just kind of weird that that gorilla is pretty bad. And we're going to go against a good dog team, which unfortunately is going to be a loss here. And this is why this took me so long. 
to get runs I was happy with is it just it takes so much effort in order to high roll everything you need. So we're gonna sell the gorilla and lollipop the German Shepherd, which is a very questionable decision. And here's the fight. And here's the question I wanted to add on to Rev's video is have you still cooked if you lost? So let me know in the comments what you think on that. And have a wonderful day.